Blessings, everyone. Do me a favor as you're coming in. I know it's 1130. We're going to try to reach 12 o'clock midnight. We're going to cross over into the second day of September. I do have a word from the Lord that is going to be a blessing to your life. And it's going to be full of instruction and impartation. So share this live video. I'm not going to try to be on long, but I'm going to release what God says and I'm going to get going. Amen. Blessings to everyone that's joining this broadcast. As you're coming in, show some love. Let me know what city and state you are representing as well as share this broadcast. Send it to your friends. Send it to your family. Send it to your loved ones and let them know that a Apostle CLJ is on and releasing the word of the Lord over the month of September. I know that oftentimes we are told so much, so many cliches regarding a number or regarding a date or regarding a time, but I'm going to say this dates, times, and numbers are very significant. As a matter of fact, numbers are the universal language of God. Everything began with a number. Every day began. Uh, everything began with these uh, symbols. Everything began with these concepts. Uh, the Bible says that God uh, created, he, he did all of his creation within seven days. Amen. And, and numbers are so important that there are, there is an entire book dedicated to numeric values and the numbers are significant to lineages they are significant to the chronology of families where bloodlines come from but i'm not gonna i'm not here tonight to really talk about that but i am here tonight to share with you insight regarding this month those of you that are intercessors god bless you a prophet more good to see you on tonight those of you that are intercessors it is my prayer that you are coming into this uh month very sensitive to the move of God, sensitive to the mind of God, and sensitive to the instructions that also need to be shared with the body of Christ. Um, we all know that there is a, there are, are uh, governmental tensions that are brewing over the nations right now. As it relates to this election, we all know that this is election year. We all know that there, that America sits in the seat of so many upcoming changes that I don't believe that many of us have been prepared for. I know that, you know, upon the entrance of 2020, COVID-19 took a whole lot of people by surprise, but those who had their ears attuned to the mouth of God, they were not uh, taken by surprise. We knew that there would be a releasing of ancient things that would come upon the world that would seek to, to bring the world to a halt. And I'm going to say this, even in the midst of demonic initiatives for the resetting or the the silencing of the lambs i'm gonna say that the silencing of the lambs because many of us don't don't we identify ourselves as sheep but we don't understand that we are also uh we are also lambs we are also uh those that god has allowed to be born during this season during this dispensation to be the uh to be the savior or to be a type of Christ. We understand that Moses was a type of Christ. He was a deliverer. We understand that Joseph was a type of Christ. He was also a deliverer. We understand that David was a type of Christ. They all prophesied or they all foreshadowed the coming of Jesus the Christ who would come to reestablish 
all things and who would also come to to deliver human humanity from the curse of the laws of sin and death hell and the grave the bible says that paul the apostle says that death you have no victory hell you have grave you have no sting and so i want to say this to the people of god that even in the midst of so much death it seems as though every time we're turning around that there's a whole lot of death this is because the spirit of fear the, the the strong men that are in operation in this demonic brigade their whole intention is to feed off of the spirit of grief there has been a heaviness that has uh been looming over uh the regions i want to say every almost as though there's this dark cloud that has been lingering over america because we have seen back to back to back to back repetitive uh negativity and i'm gonna say this the bible says that perilous times will come that we are living in perilous times but also that during this time that the the very elect would be deceived and i want to say this i want to hone in on this because many of us we pride ourselves on being sharpshooters we pride ourselves on being heavyweight discerners but we don't understand that there is an agenda at hand to displace the body not to just uh, silence the body but to displace our power because God knows and hell knows that there is power in our positioning and there are many of you that have relinquished your authority because you have submitted to the suggestions of hell and you have called the voice of demons my God the voice of God but God said to me this month he said this month is the month of September is going to be a month of great sobriety it's going to be a month of great maturity. It's going to be a month, oh my God, of the scattering. There will be a great scattering, hallelujah, my God, of, of events. There will be a great scattering of people. There will be, my God, I, I my God, when God began to deal with me about this, I, I really prayed on whether or not I was even going to release it. I know everybody is coming with these these uh, uh, cliche words about it being a month of birthing. And yes, the number nine has everything to do with, you know, more, I'm not going to say everything, but some things to do with birthing. But God said to me, he said, I don't want you to focus on, my God, the birthing. I want you to focus on the seed. And many of us have got to understand that in order for you to produce something great, you got to you got to take heed to the quality of the seed that has been sown not only do you have to take heed to the quality of the seed that has been sown but you got to also pay attention to the quality of the fruit that is being produced and i know that we live in a generation and in a time where we focus on the gifts of the spirit but we don't focus on the fruits of the spirit and god said in in the midst of the scattering he said in the midst of the shifting in the midst of this sifting i am identifying my own i have have allowed God says I have allowed and in grafting to take place I have allowed wolves to even uh, blend in with my sheep I have allowed come on the tares to blend in come on with the wheat but God says this is the hour where the divine scattering my God is being initiated God says there was there are some of us during these times that we will either take flight or we will my God eliminate our positions God says we're going to either ascend or we're going to eliminate our positions. Why? Because this is the hour that God is identifying his own. God also said to me that this month of September will be a month of the sealing. He said, you will know, oh my God. You will know those who have been sealed by me. This is the hour that you must be sealed by the Lord. We're not talking about naming the name of Christ. We're talking about the sealing of the Lord because this is the hour that you need to produce fruit. 
the nine fruits of the spirit i know that this is a curse word come here long suffering come here patience come here self-control come here love come here forbearance come on all of these things are things that need to be reinforced in the in the spirit man of god's chosen because in the in the approaching months even into the uh, into the year of 2021 you are going to need this grounding so in essence what god is doing is he's taking us back to his foundation he's taking us back to uh his grounding station to get us solidified where we won't be movable will be steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord god said to me he said this is the hour of the divine sealing I even begin to see the angels of the Lord. Uh, uh, I'm going to say this, you know, Revelation describes how there were seals that were open and, and how God allowed certain things to be spewed out in the earth. You read it in your Bible. It's in Revelations. It talks about at certain times, at a certain time that there was a, the seals were open. The Bible talks about the books being open. So I begin to see seals being taken off and I begin to see all also the saints there are these are those who have been in wait these are those that the that God has uh, he has made their minds he has made their heads as a spearhead he said these are those who have been lying in wait that will be launched forward for this hour because of the nature of what they are carrying they are the ones that will create the opening and God began to deal with me specifically about the apostolic move he said I have allowed this time of of silence I have allowed this time of uh, a seemingly like a stagnation because I am giving my apostles I'm giving my prophets an opportunity to reboot I'm giving them an opportunity to regroup I am giving them an opportunity to call forth the troops why because the troops have got to be able to stand in vigilance and stand in sobriety so many of us have been going off on tangents I'm gonna say this even in the prophetic we have been missing the mark because we have been going off on tangents we've been discussing everything outside of what is on God's mind and outside of what's on God's heart but this is the hour that God has caused us to reboot he has caused us to regroup and he has he has commanded the commanding armies and the commanding officers to call for the troops because this is the hour we, we've got some walls to leap over come on we've got we've got some we've got to run through some armies we've got to plunder the gates of hell we got to bombard the gates of heaven why because there is something so far greater that god wants to do in the earth in this time that will show forth his glory that will show forth his power that will show forth his splendor that will show forth his might and we cannot be afraid so i want to speak to the elect tonight I want to tell the elect, stand your ground, stand your ground, stand your ground, stand your ground. You know what God is saying to you. You hear God. I don't care what religious institution you have been a part of for how long. I don't care how the enemy is trying to make you stay loyal to a failing system. I'm going to also say this church as we know it is no longer what it is it will never go back to what it was and some of you god gave this opportunity as a way of escape to get you out of the place that was going to keep you seated on a bench and not mobilize you in your purpose this is the hour that god is raising us up to be to be able to mobilize the gospel let me tell you something there are nations that are now being open to those who are bold enough to declare the name of jesus in the airways i know that social media is even trying to censor authentic move of god i even begin to notice how when i would post things about the supernatural how low how low of a of a reach it was getting why because the, the enemy does not want to, people to see the power of god but i'm going to tell you something about those that have been sealed god said those that have been sealed they will no longer be concealed but they will be revealed 
This month of September is the month of the revealing, y'all. Open up your eyes. There are those of you who have awakened out of the matrix. You have awakened out of the religious regime. You have awakened out of the foolishness. You have awakened out from the lies. You have awakened out from uh, 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 even how the church has tried to cripple your movement. You have you have jailbroken, my God, that failing system of communication and now God brings you into a place where you see all things for what it is some of you had to see some people for who they were some of you had to see some institutions for what it was and now you are in a place where God is giving you a choice You have to choose what your outcome is going to be. You have to choose what direction you're going to take. It's almost as if you are the chosen one, such as Neo, that has been given the opportunity to choose, come on, the red pill or the blue pill, which is a representation of uh, 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 truths that will be unpleasant, unpleasant truth or blissful, my God, deceptions, blissful deceptions. Ignorance, I know people have been told that it is bliss, but ignorance is real really my god a pain it is a pain that you will never recover from if you don't decide to accept and embrace the truth of god because the truth of god brings you into apostolic and prophetic advantages many of you the devil and those around you who are not in your plane they have no idea how it is that you have been able to do what you've been able to do how you've been able to survive in the midst of a pandemic it's because you have accessed such a dimension of revelation that gives you an apostolic prophetic advantage these are the days my god that god says even in the midst of what 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 seems like a breakdown in the world it will be a major advancement for my body my god it will be a major advancement for my body but you gotta consistently choose to wake up god is bringing us into what i call christ consciousness this means you're leaving my God, you're leaving everything that is rel- relative to this earth, earthly plane and you are ascending into dimensions of revelation that will completely change your reality. God wants to change your reality today. And I want to say this to the people of God. It's 1146. I'm not going to be on here long. I just came to drop what God put in my spirit to drop and I'm going to get off of here. But I also need to say this. Do not, my God, walk through these next four months blindly do not walk through these next four months with no strategy do not walk through these next four months with no instruction from God get before the face of God because he's releasing blueprints he's releasing directives he is releasing commands that are going to change the dynamics of your life if you see them out to their fruition You've got to be sober. You got to be vigilant. This month of September is a month of God revealing so many things that are necessary. There are those of you listening to me. You've been praying and asking God for clear direction. You've been praying and asking him for clarity. And God said to me to tell you tonight, he said, this has nothing to do with your petition about what you should or should not do. He says, I've given you the power, my God, to make a decision. I've given you the power to make a decision. You have got to make some major decisions this month. You have got to make a change. You've got to, you got to get your whole entire life. And getting your whole entire life, what that looks like is stop, com- stop complaining about things that you don't like, but starting to make concrete decisions that you stick to. Some of you, you started some stuff this year and you did not finish it because you didn't have a mind. You didn't have the mental fortitude. COVID-19 came and all these other things came and it totally put a grip on your emotions. It put a grip on your soul. I, I Right now in the name of Jesus, I command every person under the sound of my voice to get a hold of their soul. Father, I decree and declare right now strength and sobriety to be upon your people that they will not make decisions out of their fear they will not make decisions out of their lie the lies that they're being told they will not make decisions out my god of order they will cause my god change to be effective in their life they will cause the word of god 
to leap off of the page and become a living, moving force in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to say to you that uh, the month of September, the Lord spoke to me. He said that this will be a month of great supernatural activity. We already know that September, I believe it's September 18th through September 20th is the initiation of Rosh Hashanah. It is the announcement of the, of the prophetic new year. We know that we don't go by the Gregorian calendar, but I'm going to tell you something leading up to those dates. God says that there will be high, the threshold of the supernatural in the earth realm has changed and there will be high supernatural experiences and encounters. Many of you are about to have encounters with the father. Many of you are about to have encounters with Jesus the Christ. Many of you are going to receive messages from angels, angels and angelic agencies will reveal themselves to you. Hallelujah. You will, you will have phenomena that will happen in your home, in your cars, come on at your jobs that you cannot explain all because the father wants you to know that you serve a God that is real. What good is it to talk about the supernatural or to talk about a supernatural God, but never see or receive the evidence of the supernatural. We, we judge things and we run away from it. But God says, this is the hour of the revealing. God is going to allow you to see your angels. He's going to allow you to see your rescue. He's going to allow you to see your help. Oh my God. He's going to allow you to see him. Pay attention. This is an hour of great alertness. Great alertness. We are on high alert, high alert, high alert, high alert. Let me tell you something about ACLJ. I, I have people around me that love me, but I know when I am led to release a word in a certain environment and people have to understand apostolic moves. God said to me, I could have, I could have been in my house and I could have done this live in my room, in the convenience of my room. But I understand that I am a gatekeeper and a governor over this city of the city of Macon. And the reason why I'm sitting in my car and I'm, I'm in my God in the outside field of of this city is because this is a prophetic announcement that there is an awakening happening in this city and there are those of you you're doing things outside of your norm i know that people are concerned about you but i need people to understand that the angels of the lord they guard me and they have me in their care hallelujah i understand my god that there are some things that i've got to do that 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 are announcements to shake up what has been uh, of the norm so at 11 51 p.m i am in my car and i am releasing the word of the lord over this region because i understand that there are demonic entities that walk to and fro these streets hallelujah and there are things that are happening right under my nose uh, and i'm telling you people that people that god has given this charge y'all better get ready to take some stuff by force God told me, he said, there are people I'm going to start assigning. Some of y'all are going to have to go out to the beaches. You're going to have to stretch your hands out and pray over the coast. Yeah, you intercessors. You're going to have to, come on, this hurricane season. You're going to have to speak to the waters. You're going to have to command you or Clyde and every demonic entity, every Marinian entity to bow at the name of Jesus by the power of God that is invested in you. Some of y'all going to have to change your strategy. You're going to have to get out there in the atmosphere. You're going to have to get out there in the elements you're going to have to get out there my god to affect these things because if you don't and you keep doing everything the way that you keep been doing it this is how the enemy has been able to track and trace a lot of you because your movements have become predictable intercessors you got to learn how to switch the game up come on so not only is this a supernatural month but it's the month of the switch some of y'all god's gonna switch y'all game up switch your mode of operation up switch your look up switch everything about you up so that you don't become come on so predictable some of y'all are gonna take this month you're gonna take the enemy by storm and you're going to take him by surprise. God also said to me, not only is it a month of the supernatural, not only is it a month of the switch, but it's also a month of the surprise. Some of you are getting ready to get surprises out of nowhere. I'm telling you, opportunity is going to come to you out of nowhere. Come on, my God, wealth and seeds are going to rescue, help. Come on, the things that you've been waiting for all your life, you have now hit, my God, a time of manifestation. Manifestation, what was once in 
invisible. What once seemed like, like it was not seeable or reachable, it is now obtainable for you all because you position yourself to do that which is uncommon, that which is, uh, my God, outside of your comfort zone, that, my God, which is outside of even your comprehension. You exchange your mind for the mind of Christ. You exchange your thought for the will of God. You exchange your 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 desires for the, the mandate of God. Hallelujah. Many of you are about to pick up responsibilities that people never saw you taking up. Hallelujah. There are some officers. Some of you, you have been in a low position, but God made you a lieutenant. Some of you, he made you a general in the spirit. And God says, some of you are about to step into the fullness of your role and you're going to take some people by surprise. You, God, it's the grace of God. That's going to be on your life. Hallelujah. The power that you will walk in. The power that you will move in. is going to take some people by surprise. And God says this is not because I want you to glory. Let me say this. God never brings you to the table in the presence of your enemies so that you can glory. But it's for his glory. It's because he wants to prove a point. It's because he wants to show himself strong. He wants to show himself mighty. God says those who have who have put under their flesh and subjected themselves to the real true spirit of humility i'm not talking about false humility i'm talking about real those who are truly humble before the lord and understand that it's all about him and what he sent them into the earth to do y'all get ready to see the hand of god upon your life i have to tell you i'm not gonna sit up here and tell you that these next four months are gonna be peaches and creams there's gonna be more deaths there's going to be more announcements. There's going to be more things that are going to shake the world. Hallelujah. Even in the body of Christ, there's going to be more things that are going to be revealed. That's going to literally shake my God, the breath. But I need all of you to understand that the spirit of God wants you to hold on to your breath. Catch your breath. Intercessors, you better be asking God right now for your second win. Hallelujah. Your first and your second and your third win. You are going to need the Ruach of the breath of God to resuscitate you, to revive you to strengthen you to keep you my god in a place of stealth mode stealth mode movement means that you are never stagnant my god some people can't see you moving but you're yet moving some people can't hear you speaking but you're yet speaking god even said to me he said there are many right now that don't hear my voice but i'm yet speaking and it's because i have changed the tone hallelujah when god begins to change the tone that means he puts you on a new learning curve and many of you don't realize that god has placed you on a new prophetic learning curve i know some of us that that believe that we are masters in the prophetic and we are masters of hearing God and we are masters of knowing God baby you don't know half of the things that you need to know about God you we have yet to scratch the surface there is so much more that the Spirit of God has to unpack and unload and download and upload so that we can understand who he is God has to give us him in t- in tiny quantum pieces because he understands that if he give us all of us we will be consumed but praise be to God that we have a God that loves us so much that he will he would fellowship with us he will reveal himself to us y'all get ready because god is getting ready to literally blow your mind and it is being initiated this year even as we entered into 2020 and 2020 was a signification of a new era a new age we left the previous age and we were we were we embarked into a new age hallelujah a new world it's a new world for the church it's a new world for the body it's a new world for you and me it's a new new all things new all things new new opportunities new responsibilities new my god requirements new mandates new instructions new environments new evolutions new growth new come on oh my god let's talk about new growth for a minute I also had a vision of, of a woman who who was trying to style her hair in a certain style and the style was not working because the growth at the roots were so thick and God began to say to me he said I want you to understand that right now the glory of the bride my God has come into a place where her roots are showing and God said to me he said this this cosmetic move that has been that has been operating in the body for so long 
on that has caused us to glorify come on false relaxers and chemicals and things processes that are not organic y'all hear me tonight that are not organic we have glorified he said i'm bringing my bride back to their original estate where who they are will begin to be revealed at the roots so god began to speak to me about new growth he said many of you will begin to go through this process of new growth and you will not you will no longer fight it some of you even with your natural hair let me bring it to y'all women real quick with your natural hair when you start when your when your silk press grows out oh my god hear me tonight when your silk press grows out or your perm grows out or you sweat out your pretty hair you go to feeling some type of way because you're like man you it's almost as if you try to stifle the growth not realizing that we damage our hair we damage god's glory we damage our covering we damage our coating we damage what god has has been trying to develop in us all the time that's coming forth organically hallelujah that cannot be easily weakened that cannot be easily destroyed why because we want to look a certain way we want to look and reflect an image that's not even who we really are hallelujah and i understand that right now that there is a greater awakening happening in the african-american community and god is bringing us back to our roots there's a demonic agenda at hand but there's also my god a divine agenda at hand that god wants you to know oh israel in case you didn't know you are the 12 tribes of israel i know they tried to tell you that israel is the jews but no baby you are a part of the 12 tribes of israel and we are israel and it's time for us to manifest and become show yourself show who you are don't be afraid of your roots don't be afraid come on of the new growth because the new growth is necessary as a matter of fact when you as women when you look at your hair you can literally see the how stringy and non-thick that processed hair is compared to that new growth it is thick it is healthy it is it's hard to sift through it's hard to comb through why because it comes forth in coiled strength and god says this is what i want my body to reflect nothing will be easily able to penetrate and pass through their chambers why because they came forth in strength i want to speak to my intercessors tonight and i want y'all to understand that that God is undergirding you in strength. You are a pillar of the Lord. I also want to say this to those of you that are, you are still a part of apostolic and prophetic mandates and movements and assemblies. God says, even though, even if your church is not assembling, they need you in position. They need you to be at attention. My God, this is not a time for you to take an opportunity to go to sleep on the job. Get your butt up and get in position and push the vision forward because like never before, this is the time that we need to apply pressure this is the time that we need to apply pressure don't go to sleep on your job don't go to sleep on your watch get to your post and fulfill your assignment it's 1202 i have fulfilled what god has put in my spirit to say to you i want you to share this this video with everyone that you know y'all need to spend this time these next couple of days even leading into rosh hashanah y'all need to be fasting you need to be praying you need to be bombarding the gates of heaven you need to be declaring and decreeing over your cities over your states because i'm telling you there are bloodthirsty spirits we have not seen the last of riots we have not seen the last of racial tensions we have not seen the last of 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 of, of what they call natural disasters there is so much that's lingering in this atmosphere that is trying to come to a full birth I'm going to also say this. Let me hit this real quick. There are also demonic agendas that have come forth. They have come forth with uh, some deformities, but they're trying to perfect this thing. They're trying to make this thing a successful birth. And it is up to you as God's intercessor to abort, to abort every every satanic seed that is coming out of the belly of hell. This month, while we are, yes, in a month of birthing, because in my opinion, every month somebody giving birth. And that's why we all got birthdays throughout these 12 months because every month is a month of birth. It ain't just the ninth month. Hello, somebody. But I'm, I, I, some of y'all going to catch that tomorrow. But you need to be aborting these little baby kids that's coming out of the gates of hell. 
Hello, somebody. Amen. You need to be canceling out and severing every plan. Every plan of darkness. This is what God has allowed you to be born in this dispensation of time for. You need to be fasted up. You need to be prayed up. And you also need to understand that you need to sow seed. I'm not going to spend long on this broadcast. There are those of you tonight, I'm telling you, even as we have crossed over into the second day of September, there are those of you that need to sow a seed of agreement of this word. You need to apply your faith with minds as this word has gone forth. I declare God now in the name of Jesus that every word that is spoken, those who were intended to hear, God, that they grab a hold to the instructions, they grab a hold to the strategies, and they bring them to the full forefront of their spirits and minds may this word not drop in their belly and lie stagnant but god may this deposit stir them up stir up every gift stir up my god their assignments stir up their passion for intercession stir them up god where they have been lazy and where they have been exhausted father in the name of jesus i declare god that winds of refreshing winds of strength hallelujah will, will blow upon them like streams in the desert I declare, Lord God, a refreshing. I declare, Lord God, a supernatural move. I declare, Lord God, that to each and every person, one of y'all that's connected to me, put my information in the cash in, in the comments. My God, the cash app is UKGIA, all caps, paypal.me slash PCLJ. In all caps, y'all need to sow into this word. I don't go live until God tells me to go live. But I felt the burden of the Lord to release this now in Jesus' mighty name. Last but not least, I also want to give those of you an opportunity to connect with us. God has put in my spirit. He said, I want you to do another virtual miracle and healing crusade. God moved virtually. My God, we had so many testimonies of how people were healed from COVID-19. They were healed from certain diseases. We, I mean, it has been a phenomenal. Those of you that have been watching my page, you see every other day I'm posting supernatural manifestations, which have continued for the last three years, every other day. Somebody that's connected is having a supernatural account encounter and it's all because we follow the protocol of the spirit. There is there are laws that govern supernatural my God manifestations and God I'm not bragging on me. There are many but God has given me in particular a mantle for the supernatural. Hallelujah. We have had supernatural manifestations occur on live film on live TV. We have seen visibly visibly the angels of the Lord and they leave feathers they leave they leave orbs of light they have left fat feathers all types of manifestations have occurred so I want to say this to those of y'all in the next coming days pay attention turn your notifications off we're going to go live and we're going to release the healing bomb of Gilead we're going to release the virtue of the Lord to bring healing to the souls of men and to the bodies of, of those that are sick in their body the Bible also says in Acts chapter 19 that from uh, Paul's body were given handkerchiefs that drove out a demonic spirits my God and the Bible says that that God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul and so God gave me my God a custom prayer shawl that you can go to my website we have them for men women and children boys and girls hallelujah it comes with a custom made prayer shawl that has been personally labored over in prayer by myself and it has also been uh, uh the oil has also been consecrated before god and we have seen god rout demons we have seen god deliver we have seen so many powerful things it's so much that i don't even have the time to keep up with if you do not have a prayer shawl and you can take the good thing about this prayer shawl is that it is a, a coat of many colors. You can take this shawl anywhere without someone, my God, identifying you as having something that is spiritual. We thank God for the original Hebrew to lead. Praise God. We, we thank God for it. I have one. But God says in this season, I'm giving my people strategy and where you will be identified as having a, 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 a supernatural or spiritual 
financial uh, uh, paraphernalia. You can go to your job. You can go, shoot, you can go out on the streets. Come on, you can go into some rough neighborhoods inconspicuous with a prayer shawl that is packed with power. My God, that has been saturated in the, in the presence of God that will give you the strength and the power that is needed to force supernatural movements in the earth. I'm telling you that this prayer shawl will change your life. And I'm telling you, I am just amazed at how God continues to overwhelm us with the supernatural. I pray over every seed that is sown into this ground. I pray over every person that goes to my website and gets that prayer shawl that God will overwhelm you, your family, your legacy, your lineage with the supernatural power of God. May supernatural intervention always be, my God, your response. May God show up for you perpetually, continually. May the favor of God overtake you all the days of your life. May the mercies of God, my God, run you down all the days of your life. May the angels of God make themselves known in your life and in your children's, in your home. May the power of God be your plumb line in the time of trouble. May you find rescue, hallelujah, in the time of need. May you see the goodness and the glory of God pass before you continually. For this is the heart and this is the word of the Lord concerning you. Last but not least, God is pushing me to tell you all to make sure that you maintain. Maintenance is key during these days. The Bible says that the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but it is given to them that endure until the end. So that tells me that endurance is tied to maintenance. And many of you have got to maintain your faith. You got to maintain your stance. You got to maintain. Yes, we sometimes get weak, but God says, my strength is sufficient in your time of weakness depend upon me call upon me and I will answer you for the Lord is with you he said lo I will be with you until the end of the age I will never leave you and I will never forsake you maintain your relationship with God maintain your communication with God don't ever allow the enemy to silence you to where there's ever a day or an hour that you're not praying because prayer equals power saturate yourself in the presence of God because it is the presence of God that is your weapon it is your weapon it is your weapon keep your keep your mind that's for somebody tonight keep your mind stayed upon him maintain this thought process and you will see victory in your life every time i want to encourage you all in the things of the lord yes this is a month of 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 birthing but it is also a month of god's revealing it's a month of his sealing it is a month of switches it is a month my god of 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 the power of god being revealed upon sons who have positioned themselves for the overtaking god wants to put so much in your hands but you have got to be prepared so prepare yourself walk through this month with great sobriety great stability great maturity because you are going to need it and i praise god for you i declare that this broadcast has shifted your life and put you in a place of great expectancy of what god's gonna do the world is not over god can and will still move i don't care what it looks like god is in control God is in control. And Father, we thank you that as we release our cares upon you, for you care for us, God, that you would destroy every yoke of bondage and that you would give us the victory in every situation. It is in the name of Jesus that we pray. And it is so in Jesus name. Amen. I also want to take the time to say this because oftentimes when people go live, they don't offer Christ. And I feel very strongly tonight that there is there are those on this broadcast that do not know Jesus Christ in the pardon of their sins. And see, here's another thing. God just told me to say 
He said, this, these are the days we got to get back to the original agenda. It ain't about your offerings. It ain't about your name being great, but it is about souls coming to the kingdom of God. If you do not know Jesus in the pardon of your sins and you need to know him, just lift up your hands. You don't have to be in a church setting. You don't have to be, come on, in the four walls of the church to get to know Christ. And anywhere, you are the church. You are the vessel. You are the one that God is looking for. You are the one that God is calling on. Those of you that have backslidden, you have made mistakes and the enemy has tried to condemn you and keep you in a place of saying that God doesn't love you and he can't use you and, and, and your life is over because you made a mistake. The devil is a liar. You can give your life back to Christ and you can get back on track tonight. All it takes is a decision. So lift up your hands and say, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I submit my life to you and I declare that I am no longer a part of the kingdom of darkness, but I'm a part of the kingdom of life, light, because I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. He died on the cross for my sins and because he died on the cross of my, for my sins, I received the gift of eternal life. Because I am giving my life to Christ. Father, now in the name of Jesus, as I have given my life to Christ, I evict every spirit that has gained illegal access to my mind, to my body, and my soul. Deliver me from addictions. Deliver me from every snare of the fowler. Deliver me, oh God, from every spirit that is not of you because I want to be clean. I want to be right. Father, complete your work in me that you started. And as I submit to you, Lord, continue to reveal yourself to me for the truth of who you are. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. You can pray this prayer in your own way. Hallelujah. It doesn't have to be a, a religious regime, but just know that the Spirit of God, if you open your mouth and you are sincere, the Father will deliver you. And I just feel very strongly that God is breaking addictions. There's somebody listening to me. You have had a strong pull towards cigarettes. Cigarettes. I just smelled cigarette smoke. And the Lord said that I am, I'm bringing instantaneous deliverance to you now if you want to lift up your hands and say father take the taste of nicotine and and weed and every my god other substance that has caused me to be codependent take it away from me now in the name of jesus i feel a strong wind of deliverance hitting through this broadcast tonight father send forth the angels of deliverance to move in on this broadcast cause them oh god in the name of jesus to to experience your power now in the name of jesus i cancel out every spirit of suicide those that are battling in their mind oh god those that are discouraged those that are grieving father we send forth now the ministering spirits of god of the ministering spirits of Yah, and we declare lord god that they will go forth in this broadcast and do your bidding in the earth even at this hour god overturn that which has seemingly been impossible and show them that they have hope for their future now in the name of jesus father we declare right now that you will show yourself mighty you will show yourself strong and you will reveal to all that you are all powerful in Jesus mighty name it is my prayer tonight that you have been blessed by this broadcast I'm telling you I will be coming on give me a couple of days to undergird myself in strength and the seeking of the father and I'm telling you y'all want to turn your uh, notifications on if you have not been intentional in following please make sure that you do because social media is is it switches up every now and then because of the algorithms but the voices that matter to you the most you have to be intentional in following so make sure you have subscribed to both my ministry page, Apostle Sierra LaShawn Jones, as well as this personal page. Like this page, follow this page, set your notifications to default to see these these posts and these videos first that way you'll never miss a beat also we are doing some amazing things through the platform of youtube hallelujah we're getting some things set up in this season in preparation for what god wants to do if you have not subscribed to a 
CTV, go to Apostle Sierra LaShawn Jones on YouTube and subscribe. Subscribe. There will be things posted there that will not be seen on Facebook or Instagram. So you have to go to YouTube to be able to enjoy that level of spiritual enrichment and edification. I love you all with the love of the Lord. And it is my prayer that God continues to keep you. May God keep you. May his light shine upon you. And may you all the days of your life reflect the fullness of the purpose and destiny that God has sent you here to accomplish. Have an awesome morning. It's morning time. God is getting ready to move like never before. Keep a spirit of high expectation. God is not a man that he should lie. And neither the son of man that he should repent god bless you i love you and i'll see you on the next broadcast keep praying stay in the fight and most of all keep the faith love you good night